Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we're talking skincare. So I'm going to be sharing four products that have changed my skin. These are the products that I've incorporated into my skincare routine that I have seen the absolute biggest difference with. And I'm really excited to share them with you guys today. Now for some of these, I'm going to be sharing specific products. For some of them, I'm actually more so focused on that ingredient or type of product. And in that case, I have a couple options for you. Lots of different price ranges included in this video. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, two things first here. I am not a dermatologist or an esthetician, but I will leave my favorite channels down below that are or are skincare experts. Also, I will share my skin type really quickly in case you are new here. I do have normal skin, but it does lean dry. And as we're starting to phase into fall, I can already tell my skin is just drying right out. My skin used to be a little bit more acne prone these days, not as much, but it can still be quite sensitive. And I'm in my late 20s, so definitely focused on a bit of anti-aging here and there. So let's actually start off with one product that I haven't used in a while, but this changed my skin a few years ago. So I wanted to share it and that is rosehip oil. Now there's a lot of different rosehip oils out there. I will leave some in the description box. I'll have everything linked as always. So one benefit of rosehip oil is that it can help fade scars and I noticed such a big difference. So when I was probably in like my early 20s, I had some scarring on my cheeks from acne and they were like really deep, very red scars that just would not go away, would not fade. And a lot of times like I would have a pimple and I would pick at it even though I know you're not supposed to. And then I would get a bit of a red scar, but it wasn't even really a scar because it would just stay for a few weeks and then it would go away. But I had a couple like really, really pronounced ones that were almost like purple. Like that's how pronounced they were on my cheeks that I just could not get to go away until I started consistently using rosehip oil. I used it morning and night for months before I saw a difference. So I do want to say that that's the thing. When it comes to fading scarring, when it comes to a lot of different benefits that skincare products have, you don't see them overnight. So you have to stick to that routine, be patient, but I really thought those red marks on my cheeks were gonna be there forever, but they're completely gone now from using rosehip oil. So if you're struggling with scarring and you can't seem to fade it, that's definitely an ingredient that I would recommend adding to your skincare routine. And truly it was a game changer for me. All right, this next one is just a product in general, but I do have a specific recommendation it's sunscreen now this is one that we all know like you're supposed to be wearing sunscreen every day but for most of my life i was not consistent enough about this stuff in my skincare routine but it wasn't until a year or two ago that i started to take it very seriously and apply sunscreen every single day even the days where I'm planning to be inside all day. Because even on those days, I'm still gonna be taking my dog out to go to the bathroom. I'm still gonna be sitting near a window. So it's important to always apply sunscreen. The one that made a big difference for me is this one. This is the Super Goop Play Sunscreen. And I swear, this is the reason why I feel like I don't need primer anymore in my skincare routine. Because previously, I don't feel like I was getting enough hydration out of my morning skincare routine. My face just wasn't dewy enough to then go right in with foundation and I felt like I needed a primer to give me that extra moisture. But this is quite glowy, almost a little too glowy. If you have oily skin, you might not like it, but if you're using the recommended amount, which is quite a bit of sunscreen you wanna apply to get full protection, you are gonna be glowing, like almost on the verge of greasy, but for me, that's what I like going in next with my foundation. So this was a game changer for me, and it's really unbelievable for me to look back on my pictures from even a year or two ago and see the difference in my skin. And just overall, I feel like my skin is so much more even toned now that I'm using sunscreen every single day. That being said, obviously there are other products that have worked together, to improve my skin, but sunscreen has been really important. Also, I get a lot of comments and questions about how to touch up sunscreen. Let me share two options, actually three. So touching up over makeup is obviously very tricky without messing up your makeup. First of all, Kula has a sunscreen spray that I actually do like as a touch up option. I wouldn't rely on any of these as your only form of sun protection, but I had a little mini, I use it up, I'll link it below. But this is a powder sunscreen from Derma E. It's their sun protection mineral powder. SPF 30, another nice touch-up option. My, my thing with this 
it's it's a sunscreen it's not necessarily meant to be a makeup powder so it's not going to sit as well on the skin as other powders and it is sometimes a little dark if i don't have any tan i'm talking self tan by the way because i don't i don't tan in the sun but if i don't have a bit of a tan sometimes this can be dark however i recently picked up the bare minerals mineral veil the spf 25 version and i feel like this is also a nice touch-up option i wish it was a higher spf but it's an easy way to add a little powder on the skin throughout the day to touch up a little bit. All right, the next product comes from The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary. They are my favorite skincare brand, and I had a video go up earlier this year sharing my entire collection from The Ordinary, best and worst. It's mostly best because they, I, they don't have a lot of duds in my eyes. But there's one product from that brand that made a huge difference for me, and that is the Buffet Serum. And I'm gonna pop a photo on the screen because I have used mine up and I haven't repurchased it. However, I wanna try this and see how this works. This is another peptide option from The Ordinary that I just picked up from Ulta when I placed my 21 Days of Beauty order. This is the, okay, I looked up the pronunciation before this video. Let me, let me get this right. Argeline? Argeline? <laughs> Solution 10%. It's another peptide serum, so I'm interested to see how it compares to this one. But let me talk to you guys about this one for a second. So this is a peptide serum. It's really plumping for the skin, and it's very effective if you have some fine lines. Now, I have some lines in my forehead that I have had since probably I was a teenager, and I'm just very expressive when I speak. I lift my brows a lot, and that's just kind of what happens when you make a face a lot. It, you start to get a little bit of an imprint there. But I'm gonna pop this photo on the screen. I've shared this so many times, but you guys, this is the one week difference from using this product. Look at the difference in my forehead lines. That is unbelievable. I still remember last year when I was in New York for Ipsy Live, I was with Makeup Molly, love her, another Michigan girl. And we went into the Ordinary Store. They have a location in New York City, like kind of by Bryant Park. And I had just started using this product and I was like, Molly, you have to see this. And I pulled up these photos on my phone and right there on the spot, she's like, I have to buy this. I have to have that. Now, I still do have some lines in my forehead. They're probably never going to completely go away. But through consistent use of different products, I've seen such a big difference. And when I look back on photos of myself from a year or two ago, or even three years ago, the difference is astronomical. Like they have faded so much. They're so much more subtle, a lot more plumped up. And the Buffet Serum is only like $15. It's amazing. This one that I just picked up, I think was $7.90. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. And the final one is more of a category in general, and I picked out a few options to share with you guys at a range of price points, so there's something for everyone. That's AHAs. So AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids. They help to exfoliate the skin. You might see these uh, listed on different ingredient labels as glycolic acid or lactic acid, and they're amazing. So looking back on some of the photos I've shared, I've shared in this video so far, you might have noticed that I used to have a lot of bumps on my forehead. And when I was a teenager, I struggled with acne. And then when I got into like my early 20s, I didn't have your typical acne. I didn't have like red blemishes, but I had comedonal acne, which is kind of like those little bumps. They never really turn into anything. They never become red but it's just kind of texture. And for me, I got them on my forehead and I could never get rid of them. Like I swear, nothing helped until I started incorporating AHAs into my skincare routine consistently. So for me, it actually started with the Pixie Glow Tonic and I started to notice a difference with that. I don't use that product as much anymore because I'm trying to back away from fragrance as much as I can. I do still have fragrance in my routine. But still. But the three I'm gonna share with you guys today are heavy duty. So these are ones, if you are not used to this type of product, you definitely want to introduce it slowly because it can be a little bit irritating to the skin. But for my affordable option, this is amazing. You guys, Derma E has so many good products. This is their overnight peel, and it's, it says, it's kind of a weird name, it just says overnight peel, alpha hydroxy acids, exfoliant facial. This is kind of like a cream and it has Glycolic acti ac acid, acid and lactic acid, both pretty high up on the ingredient list. 
very intense. You only want to use this one to two times a week, but your skin will be smooth as a baby's bottom the next day. This is basically the same thing, but in a different texture. This is more of a serum, whereas that one's more of a cream. This one's a little pricier, but this is gold in a bottle. I kid you not. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum. Super hyped up, worth all the hype that it gets. It is amazing. Again, both lactic acid and glycolic acid, very high up on the ingredient list. And then if you prefer more of a mask instead of a leave-on treatment, this also super hyped up, worth all of the hype and then some. This is from The Ordinary as well. This is their AHA 30% plus BHA 2%. So this one also has beta hydroxy acids in it, so salicylic acid, and you leave this on for about 10 minutes if your skin can handle it. Otherwise, do a little bit less build your way up but i get questions about that all the time because you guys know i struggled with those bumps for years and it wasn't until i became very consistent about using alpha hydroxy acids in my skincare routine multiple nights a week that they started to go away and i hardly ever get them like sometimes i will get one or two but before i used to have at least 10 to 12 bumps on my forehead at all times like one would go away a new one would come in its place and I could not get rid of them for years. Chemical exfoliation. So those are four products that changed the game for me, completely changed my skin. I wanna hear from you guys down below. What are your holy grail skincare products that made the biggest difference for you? Maybe it's not just a product, maybe it's a specific ingredient that you swear by. Let us know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.